Daniel LaForce, head coach of Northeastern Women's Basketball. The Huskies set a school record. Congratulations Thank last you very year much. the CAA. Yes. And uh, you've been, you were voted the CAA Coach of the Year. What did setting that record and receiving the award mean to, to you and the program? Well, setting the record and receiving the award was really a great accomplishment for the program. You know, we talked about building a foundation, building our philosophy, and it took some time. But to definitely getting the recognition from our peers, um, both in the coaching realm and also the players and even the media, giving us an opportunity to just prove that we were a good program, I think said a lot for how much work and effort we put into building this program. Um, you know, you know, I always talk about how important the intangibles are, leadership, um, you know, building the philosophy, all those things finally felt like it, you know, full circle and all came and, and fit together. So I was, I was happy that um, we got the recognition from everyone. Now that you've reached that particular level, uh, what are the goals and expectations as you go into a new season? Right, um, you know, definitely we, we're looking uh, at setting some new records, um, you know, getting some t some players on the all-conference team. Um, you know, we have a player of the year candidate that we're very proud of, hoping that she gets an opportunity to have that award at the end of the year. But also we want to make more of a statement in postseason. We want to be able to go deeper into the conference championship and maybe even to, into some national championships at the end of the year. But it's time for our program to make the next step and um, having accomplished so much and building the foundation, I think is, is the right time to, to make that step and, and become a little bit more powerful in the postseason. That uh, candidate for player of the year is Jewel Tunstall. Uh, she developed in one of the top post players in the conference last year and did earn all conference honors. What makes her so effective and how is she come into, or how does she come into this year even better? Right. Um, Jewel's just really effective because she's so humble. Um, she just doesn't know how good she is, and we have to remind her of that every single day. Um, and, you know, she's surrounded by great uh, guards who love giving her the ball because, you know, she can score the ball, and she's effic efficient at a high level in terms of her field goal percentage. Um, you know, but sometimes, you know, when you have a player that's so humble, you have to try to remind them every single day of their impact um, on the team and also in the league. So we spent a lot of time this summer just talking to her about developing that player of the year mentality and attitude and being able to step up this, uh, this season and, and become that sort of player to kind of finish off her career. Also returning a pair of starters in the backcourt. Talk mm -hmm. about that duo and their strengths and how they play well together. Yeah, I mean, there are ca junior captains, Amenci and Elise, and um, both players who work really hard trying to establish themselves as leaders in the program, not only on the court, but off the court. I'm really looking you know, for Amenci to, to take more charge of, of the, the offense and be a little bit more confident with her offensive skills. And Elise, obviously, just being an overall player, both on the offensive, offensive and defensive end, and getting herself to an all-conference all um, team. And I think that's one of her goals and one of our goals as a, as a program as well. There appears to be a great deal of parity in the CA this season. Now talk about the depth of the conference and give us your take on how the league race will shape up this year. Right. Well, I think the difference in this uh, this year, the league, is the coaches. I mean, we have some phenomenal coaches in the league, and the addition of Nikki at Towson and Tasha at College of Charleston and Ed at um, William and Mary, and along with you know Tina and everyone else. It's just a great league with great coaches. Night in and night out is going to be you know a challenge to win games because you're, you're paired up not only against great athletes but great coaches as well.